This video is sponsored by Blair's Wire Bonsai Trees. For unique and personalized pieces of beauty and artwork, check out the link in the description and use coupon code BeastlyGamer for 10% off your order. What's up everybody, Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. In this video, we're going to talk about what it is to be a fanboy and how it fucking sucks to be one. Now, disclaimer. I like Sony more than I do Microsoft. I like Sony's ecosystem. As a teenage man, uh, I, I grew up playing PlayStation before Xbox even cre was created. Uh, I played games like Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy VII and Metal Gear Solid, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. These games kind of epitomized what it meant for me to be a gamer. And so I grew up in the PlayStation ecosystem. No hate against Microsoft. They do have great games and their library is becoming more and more uh, engaging for me as a gamer. But I grew up on Sony's side and so I really gravitated more toward the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 first. Uh, and, but the thing is, being a fanboy can really be a detriment to everybody involved. Now when I first started my YouTube channel, I was a fanboy. I was just hardcore Sony. I didn't own a Wii U, I didn't own an Xbox One. I had an Xbox 360, but I didn't hardly play it because I was more of a Sony guy. And I had to really open my mind up. And I'm admitting the truth. I was a fucking pony, you know, I really was. And in a lot of ways, people probably still think I am, but it's not so much the case anymore. I love my Xbox One. I enjoy it. I play great games on it. Playing State of Decay now. I mean, it's a great system. Master Chief Collection came out screwed up, but for the value, it's still an amazing game. I love what Microsoft is doing. I'm looking forward to their lineup. Their fall lineup is really looking good. Uh, Rise of Tomb Raider, I can't wait for it. Uh, and Nintendo. While the Wii U sucks booty juice, uh, I love my Wii U for the games like Smash Bros. Smash Brothers, uh, Smash Brothers Wii is amazing. Mario Kart on the Wii is awesome. A lot of the other new games that have been on the Wii just don't, they don't wet my palate. It's not great for me to play uh, Wooly, uh, Wooly, Ep Yoshi's Epic Yarn, you know, uh, Toad Treasure Tracker. Games like that just don't do it for me. I'm just being honest. I'm, I'm 35 years old. I don't want to play a game like that. And so even now, I'd more gravitate towards Sony's side of things because they have games like The Last of Us that really speak to me as a, as a gamer. They have games like Uncharted, Sly. They have all these games that really... Games like uh, Little, Little Big Planet, I don't play. I don't really like them. I got uh, Little Big Planet on PS4, but I don't play it. It's for the kids, you know? And so I could be one-sided here and say that Sony is the best. They dominate. Or I could say that Microsoft dominates or Nintendo dominates, but that's it's being disingenuous. You're lying to yourself firstly, and then you're lying to the, the unsuspecting victims who buy in on the lie. There are YouTubers out here who make a life of doing nothing but bashing other consoles and pretending that their console of choice is perfect. And those people, I'd like to tell you to kiss my ass. There's a couple of you guys out there that are just really, really pathetic that want to sit and pretend that your console of choice is great. And a lot of these losers only have one console. They have one. You know, they'll have an Xbox One or they'll have a PS3 or a PS4 or a Wii and they will sit and pretend that their console is the best one when they don't have a field of reference to play anything on. You know, I'm not even going to give you guys any, any shine because you're pathetic. There's, there's Xbox guys, PlayStation guys that sit and embellish facts and make shit up and pretend and are delusional about real facts and they expect their subscribers to respect that. If you have a subscriber base and you sit and tell them lies, you're going to lose them. People are not fucking stupid. If you sit and pretend that the Xbox One is outselling the PS4 in some Twilight Zone world inside your mind, people are going to call bullshit on it. If you sit and try to pretend that the PlayStation's network is better than the Xbox Live, your subscribers are going to call bullshit on you, and they're going to back away slow. And they're going to back away slow. Stop with the lies. These people like, put it this way, Red Dragon, the biggest X-Bot on Earth, right? All he does is bash Sony. All he does is talk about everybody who owns a Sony console and how Sony's games are terrible. The guy has a voice like a cartoon character. And uh, his subscribers stick around for it. And I understand why, because they're Xbox as well, right? But the guy is like Alex Jones with an Xbox. Alex Jones is the biggest fear monger on Earth. It's happening today. The globalists, the globalists. Now take the globalists out of Alex Jones' mouth and say Xbox, and you got Red Dragon. These people are pathetic. 
Tell the truth about what's going on. Be objective about these games. I mean, when Microsoft first came out, I was really pissed off with the Xbox One. I hated their whole campaign on DRM and you can't share and always online and connect. It was terrible. And I talked a lot of shit about it. That made me feel really comfortable being a PlayStation guy. But PlayStation's network sucks booty juice. It's terrible. I'm not going to sit and pretend that PlayStation's network is somehow better than Xbox Live's. Everybody has something good to contribute and something that needs to be fixed. Everybody. Sony has great games. Microsoft has great games. It all depends on what games you like to play the most. So this message is to all you fanboys out there. Blackie, you know who you are because you suck and you're delusional. Uh, uh, Faith Dillion is another one that sucks, that can't get new subscribers because all she does is talk about how Xbox is great and Sony sucks. These idiots have no idea that they're basically damning themselves by being one-sided here. Subscribers don't just have PlayStations. They don't just have Xboxes. They have them all. So if you want to be true to your subscribers, get them all, then talk shit. Don't just huddle and hug up to the console that you have of choice and pretend to know what's going on on the other side. Be honest with yourself first, and then be honest with your subscribers. I'm just tired of the crap. You guys let me know in the comments, who do you think is the biggest fanboy or fangirl on the internet when it comes to console gaming? Let me know. I might not know who they are. <laughs> let me know. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.